Sivas is a hidden garden of central Anatolia, not as yet deservedly explored. The blessed lens, where the most prominent examples of Seljuk civilization are still intact and the seeds of the young republic were sown. Located in the basins of the Kazilurmak, Kalkit and Euphrates rivers, Sivas is at the junction of the main roads linking the north to the south and the east to the west. According to the written sources, the area where today Sivas sprawls turned out to be an important settlement during the age of the Hittites at the beginning of the 2000s BC. Later the cradle of many other civilizations, Sivas was ruled by the Phrygians, Lydians, Romans, Byzantines, Danish Mentli Principality, Seljuks, Ilhanli Principality, Eretna and Ottomans. Sivas is Turkey's second biggest province in terms of its surface area. Its total population is 642,224 and the population of the city proper is 318,488. Sivas, whose fortune is on the rise in the fields of industry, education, culture, art, tourism and sports, is now Anatolia's new centre of attraction. Sivas not only gives pleasure to its visitors with its scenic beauties, but it also provides them with a chance of recovering their health. The thermal waters of Sivas offer the chance of getting rid of many illnesses ranging from rheumatism, skin diseases, stomach complaints and bowel disorder to neurological problems. The hot spring 31 kilometers away from the city center has been declared a thermal tourism center by the Culture and Tourism Ministry and is awaiting investors. The cold spring 20 kilometers from the center also awaits its visitors to provide a remedy for many health problems. Accompanied by the Dr. Fish, it is possible for you to be back from Kangal Balaklu Spa, leaving your skin disorders behind. The thermal spa in Kangal is the only healing center in the world where psoriasis is naturally cured. Small fish, not longer than 10 centimeters, live in the thermal waters of the Kavak stream in Kangal. The fish, with their skill bigger than their size, are the healer of skin diseases such as pimple, eczema, psoriasis and open sore. Another thermal spa in Kangal is the Kalkum Fish Spa. Declared a tourist centre by the Ministry in 2010, this place is a candidate for being an important spot for investment and is awaiting entrepreneurs. Located between Hattusas, the capital of Hittites, and Sarissa, Sivas is known to have been one of the important settlements of the region in that period. It has been reported by the findings of the excavations that Kayalupuna ruins were also one of the important centers of the Hittites alongside Boasco, Alajahuk and Sarissa, serving as a vibrant settlement frequented by trade colonies owing to its geographical location. The moment you step in the city, history guides you as if holding you by the hand and taking you down the lane of bygone civilizations and making you feel you're wandering in a city of culture and history. The vestiges of Seljuks are so dominant here that after visiting the Sivas Grand Mosque, you feel as if you hear the voices of the students trained at the Burujiya Madrasa and remain transfixed before the Madrasa with twin minarets inspired by its grandeur.
you may get blown away by the Gök Madrasa named after the blue tiles of Sivas and become fascinated by the Güdük Minaret. In the Shifaya Madrasa, which is standing right across the madrasa with twin minarets and which was one of the biggest hospitals of its own age, you can dream yourself in the mysterious medical schools and hospitals of the age. The Ada Bridge or Bent Bridge, which is known for its unusual architecture, has already taken its place in history as a work of mastery. The Divri Ulujami, the Grand Mosque and its hospital, considered the masterpieces of Turkish Islamic architecture and included in UNESCO's World Heritage List, and the Divri Citadel, which has the print of Mengücekli architecture from top to bottom, should be among the must-see places on your visit to the area. When you take a break from visiting the historical mosques in Sivas, you feel as if you were resting in the arms of the past, leaning against the branches of a 600-year-old plane tree. The Sivas city square is a place the like of which cannot be seen in Anatolia. There, before all else, the government office hails you with its all grandeur. The historical gendarmerie office and the Congress Hall, where the foundations of our republic were laid, accompany us in our journey in history. It's necessary to give the Kale Mosque, which takes attraction with its elegant architecture in this square, its due. You cannot say I have seen Sivas without visiting the Maidan and the Alibaba mosques, which are among the most beautiful samples of the mosques of the Ottoman era. The memory of Behram Pasha, educated in the Ottoman palace school known as Enderun, is kept alive in the inn named after him. The Tashan and Subash inns are works of art dating from the Ottoman era. The oldest mansion of Sivas that survives is Abd Ar Mansion. The mansion, which reflects the whole warmth of an old Turkish house, sets a good example of the rare structures facing oblivion in Sivas. This mansion, built in 1827 by Abdul Wahabi Efendi Ali Ar, one of the citizens of the city, was donated by his grandchildren to the municipality and today serves as the Sivas Mansion and Culture House. The two-story mansion has 12 rooms. The upper floor houses the kitchen, a large lounge, two guest rooms, two big halls, two living rooms and a bedroom, while the ground floor has spacious rooms to use in summer. As you continue your adventure in Sivas with the guidance of history, you find yourself suddenly in the Republican era. Atatürk came to Sivas in order to start War of Independence on the 2nd of September 1919. The Sivas High School was allotted to Sivas Congress and Atatürk stayed there for 108 days until he left the city. The veterans' study room, bedroom and telegraph room and the great historical hall where the Congress was held are the units that take most attention in this historical building used today as the Atatürk Congress and Ethnography Museum. The next place for you to visit should be the Archaeology Museum. Sivas Archaeology Museum, which became operational in 2009, is one of the biggest and contemporary museums of central Anatolia. Turkey's renowned minister Ayşık Veysel is one of the prominent symbols of Sivas. The impact of Ayşık Veysel on Anatoly's folk songs, which reflect our society's collective memory, is undeniable. Sivas keeps his memory alive and expresses its gratitude to him in the museum dedicated to his name. If you happen to visit Sivas on September the 4th, you could consider yourself lucky. It is the day on which the Sivas Congress was held and the city hails the occasion in jubilation and in an atmosphere of festivity. All you have to do is to leave yourself to the rhythm of the atmosphere and folk dance and try to imitate their steps called Ardlama, 
yanlama and hoplatma. The Turkish baths of Sivas are at least as famous as its thermal spas. They are proof of the cleanliness that the Islamic world is so meticulous about. The Kurşunlu bath, built by Behram Pasha in 1576, is still standing intact today as a living witness to that era. The calderium and frigidarium parts of the Mehmet Ali bath give the picture of a classic Ottoman bath. You lie down on the tummy stone at the center of the bath to sweat and refresh in the pool nearby after having yourself scrubbed by masseurs. If you start feeling hungry towards the end of your historical journey in Sivas, please do not resist the call of the rich cuisine of our city, Sivas. You can start with an appetizer, a soup called peskutan, continue either with special Sivas meatballs or a Sivas kebab. In spring, madamakashi should also be part of the menu for a tasty meal, which can be wrapped up with the famous Sivas pastry known as hurma. If you happen to pass Sivas at the crack of the morning, we suggest you have breakfast with the fresh pita, sheep's head, cookies and pastry prepared in the stone ovens of Sivas. Certain traditions still living in Sivas are a source of pride for its people. One of them is jirit, or javelin throwing on horseback. This tradition, equestrian team sport, that is played in various parts of Turkey, has a different meaning in Sivas. Another tradition kept alive in Sivas is that of minstrels. The coffee house of minstrels is a rare venue where the wandering minstrels perform their art by offering their poems, songs and stories by plucking the traditional stringed instruments called saz. If you step into one of those coffee houses, you can get acquainted with the Turkish folk song culture. Also rich in Sivas is a variety of handicrafts. The Sivas silver, which is an example of elegance and mastery. The world-renowned Sivas carpets, the Sivas knives, the Sivas bone cones, the Sivas cigarette holder made of stick, and the Sivas pencils are the best examples of the craftsmanship in Sivas. Mount Yildiz, that is 60 kilometers from the city center, has been declared a winter sports center. Mount Yildiz, which doesn't pose danger of avalanche despite being covered with snow for five months of the year, draws a lot of attention as having a great potential to revive tourism in Sivas. Pasha Fabrikas is an ideal picnic ground to spend a very enjoyable day. With the landscaping carried out in recent years, it's become a center of attraction not only for the locals but also for those visiting Sivas. If you want to be a part of nature and see all the shades of blue, do not return without seeing Lake Gürün Gökpınar. Another important feature exclusive to Sivas is the world-renowned Kangal Dog, which is also considered Turkey's national breed. Reputed Ottoman traveler Evliya Çelebi, who lived in the 17th century, qualified that special breed in his Seyahatname book of travels as strong and big as a lion. Lake Tudurge in Zara offers its visitors a matchless panorama and is a cozy place for a short break for a cup of tea. Sivas is also a city illuminated by holy men of love. If you happen to visit the Yukariteke Cemetery, you'll be welcomed by one of those holy men, Abdul Vahab Bugazi. The holy personality Shemsi Sivas, referred to as the son of Sivas, who is one of the three famous holy figures in Turkish history known as Shems, is in Sivas and is a source of pride for the people of the city. With his boundless tolerance, Shemsi Sivas, just like Mevlana and Yunus, sow the seeds of love and fraternity in these lands. A congelar with its melon and vegetables. Altan Yayla with its sarissa ruins and woven fabrics. 
Divri, the realm of culture and minds, known for its Grand Mosque and its hospital included in the World Heritage List. Duanshar, with its awesome nature and resting mountain pastures. Gemerik, the homeland of the famous plant Gilaburu and known for its Sazir Falls. Gorova, famous for its lake, fish and mountain pastures. Gurun, known for its Gokpunar, Shul Plain, apples, white mulberries and walnuts. Hafik, with its embroidered socks and dozens of lakelets. Imranlu with its Mount Kazil from which three rivers originate in tasty honey. Kangal with its special dog breed named after it and its healing spa, Balitla. Lush green Koyal Hisar with its forests and natural bounty of fauna and flora. Sushehri with its Kalishkaya Dam, Mount Kose, mountain pastures and beams. Sharkushla with its renowned minstrel Ashik Vesel and its carpets. Ulash with its fabrics, folk songs, organic products and Mount Tejer. Yildizeli with its hot spring Sajak Charmi, Pir Sultan Abdal and folk songs. And Zara, known for its honey and lake Todurge, which is a natural paradise, are the townships of Sivas, each more beautiful than the other. <laughs>